Hello, hello, hello. Ugh. It's so cold in my room, I'm like freezing. Fucking freezing right now. How's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing on this Friday? <clears throat> what up, Megan? What up, Jenna Vic? What up, Anne? What up, Amanda Mander Man? Oh, girl, Madriaga. Maybe said it right. Maybe didn't. Uh, that my fucking cat. Shouldn't be. What up, Brianna? You actually made it to a live stream. Hey, Ryan, Calvin. Um, yes. Cliven, Ryan Cliven. Yes, good about the Cal Fire Foundation. Friends have lost a lot. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna do a, a spiel about that in a little bit, I think, as soon as more people get in, because I want them to like know what's going on. So that it's like not a surprise or a shock. Like, you know, I want them to know like this is what is going on. So. What up, Cleo Claus 66 or 69? Hey, freaky, freaky deaky. Show us post. Uh, he's not in here. He's in, I think he's in the living room sleeping or something. He was in here earlier because I have my window cracked open. So he thinks that he's going to escape. LL every time. Klebon, Klebon, I know. I think I, because I, I have vision issues and I can't wear my glasses while I stream because of the headphones. They like squeezes my head. So it's like, I, I can kind of read it, but kind of not read it. What up, Survive Sleeve Slay, A girl, A. If you didn't know this, um, she has a YouTube channel. She's super dope. Hey, hey oh, hamburgers. Um, I actually did a podcast with her, and I think it's coming out like next week or something. So when that's announced or when she upload, upload, uploads that, I'll make sure to shout that out because, and it was, a, we had such a, we talked for like three hours. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. Brows on point. I know I got my eyebrows done like literally yesterday. Like I was like, I had a unibrow and I was like, I can't. Mordecai, I noticed you. Senpai noticed you. I have a hard time with big headphones as well. I always use earbuds. Yeah, in my regular life, like when I'm like walking around school or I'm at work and stuff like that, I just use um, earbuds. But like when I'm streaming or I'm um, gaming or when I'm editing, I wear these bad boys because they're connected to my microphone and everything. So when I have a fat head already, so when I... Um, when I have my glasses on too, it just pinches and it just gives me a headache. Are you paused the action video to come here? I'm so glad. I know guys, I uploaded a real video. I, I'm a real boy. I uploaded a real ass video. Thank you, Pink Putha. I like the name. The girl that, um, or the girl, I shouldn't call her, the woman who does my eyebrows, every time I go in there, her and the other ladies always gawk about my eyebrows. They're always like, Oh, we wish you had your eyebrows. Like, how do you have your such nice eyebrows? And I'm like, honestly, honestly, I, I like that just how they come in. I have really thick. I, I have a unibrow. If I don't get my eyebrows done, I have a unibrow. So, Michael, I just signed up. Caroline, Michael, I just landed a position as deputy sheriff in my county. Can I get a congratulations? Congratulations, Caroline. Awesome. That's fucking cool to hear. Deputy sheriff, you better be out here working. And Caroline, it says Caroline, right? Bitch, female officer out here. You better get it, bitch. Irish eyebrows? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, my, my, there's Irish on my white side. So, could be. I actually did a whole, well, I was going to show it right now, but I actually, literally, I just got a new phone today, and I've been like, I, it's not even set up yet. I've been sitting here trying to fucking get everything, because I have an Android phone, and I'm trying to get everything to an iPhone, which is like literally impossible, apparently. So, and it's not set up yet, so I can't even show you anything, but I wanted to show it to you, so. It's literally just at the Ola screen, see? Bonjour, it's like at that screen. I literally have done like nothing oh i have to set up like an apple id i have to, there is a bunch of shit that i still have to do that i haven't done yet i went there i, sh I should have known better i 
I've had an upgrade eligible at Verizon for like the past eight months and I just haven't been looked into it. And then I went. Marissa Moraz, I hope anyone in the live chat in California is safe. Love you, Michael. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, let me explain what's going on. Thank you so much, Marissa Moraz. Um, so if you, um, I mean, I guess if you've been living under a rock or whatever, you don't know this, but um, there's been like horrible wildfires here in Southern California for the past like two weeks. Like so bad, so many animals have died. So many people have lost their homes. Like there's literal towns that are just no longer, that no longer exist now. Like they just no longer exist. Like I think there's this, a town called Paradise that it's just gone, and there no one's gonna ever be able to live there ever again. Um, and a lot of people started reaching out to me because I know I live in Southern California. I live about two hours away from the fires, so I'm good. Like, and I live in a desert, so like there's never there's not a the only way a fire could like really get here is if it started here, and there's not a lot of like trees or anything to um. To like really like burn like that so like we're i'm okay um otaku game i turned off the text to speech so i'm gonna have to read these out now otaku gamer judas says it's not much but every bit helps wishing for a speedy recovery me too um i know i this is the this is like the only op i don't know i don't i am not in control of it um i wish everyone from around the world could donate but i don't it's this is <laughs> This is how it works on YouTube. So like I have the super chat for good enabled and the charity that I picked is California wildfire, um, California fire foundation. And what they do is they just essentially give any kind of emotional or financial support needed to the victims of the, um, wildfires right now. So they give like visa gift cards, they provide food, they provide shelter, they just provide a bunch of really necessary things for a lot of, the, and they also support the firefighters as well. They help with the firefighters' families. They help with the, they help provide firefighters with food and water while they're out there fighting the fires. So um, I don't know. This is something that's happening like close to me. So I felt like this is the least I could do. Like if I can come on here and be like petty. Because I, you know, like I do get a good amount of super chats and everything. And like, I'm not saying that you have to do this, but um, if my super chats, and I think the way it works too with super chat for good is that YouTube doesn't take anything from it. Because usually what happens is YouTube takes like, I think they take 25% of whatever super chat you get. And then like the person receiving it gets the other 75%. But I think with super chat for good, YouTube just gives it all straight to the charity because it is for charity. So anything that is that I get in super chats today will automatically go to the California Fire Organization. So um, yeah, I just want it's the least I can do. I've donated my I've donated personal money to the Red Cross down here. Um, that's just what we do. I don't I have like an, a, an account and everything set up with them. So like whenever there's disasters in general, that's who I donate to first. Um, but I wanted to do something locally. That, or something that is going to do something more on a local level for, or a state level at least, I guess, because it's like everywhere in California. It's not even Southern California anymore. It's like Central California. It's everywhere right now. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do the Super Chat for good. And so anything that you guys decide to give during the stream during in Super Chats, we'll go directly to them and they'll help families. Because there's a lot, I don't know. I know a couple people that were affected by it. I know one person who was evacuated, but luckily their home is safe and they're back home now. And I do know another person who they lost everything. And, I, and then I think the thing that people don't realize is they hear the word Malibu and they think that because they think that only rich people live in Malibu. And like, that's not the case. There's a lot of working class people that live in Malibu. Um, so, you know, not everyone is Miley Cyrus. Not everyone is Camille Grammer, you know, like they'll they'll be okay you know but it's the working class people that live in malibu too those are the people that are going to need the most help so um yeah victoria cakes thank you so much for the super chat do them hearts bitch um love your videos thanks for giving us a way to donate absolutely absolutely i have my water where is my water oh i got this as a gift so happy about it it's a hydro flask I love it a lot. I can't, I have a Yeti. You guys have seen my Yeti. You 
you guys have seen my Yeti. I can't take that in, into lab class with me. You're not allowed to take anything into lab that doesn't have a lid that securely closes. So, yeah. So I've had to been taking like regular water bottles in there, which just fucking sucked. Oh my God, there's so many super chats right now. Um, Court Sport, thank you so much for the super chat. So cool of you to do this, Michael. I live in California. Seeing all the devastation here is heartbreaking. It's absolutely hard. It's, it is so sad on such a level that like, I can't even comprehend. I don't even know. I honestly don't know how we're gonna like bounce back from it. And it's only getting worse. That's the thing that like gets me is like, it's only getting worse with climate change and everything. It's only getting worse. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I hear, I see everyone. I see, I'm so, I, I wish that I could change the rules for, for Super Chat. I personally don't have the ability to, but if you go on my Twitter, I, I linked the name of the, of, I have the website up there. So if you feel the need and, and you're able to, I do think they accept PayPal donations. So if you want to um, donate directly to them, that is an, that is a way of doing so. Oh my God, I have to read, see, I have to read these now. This is going to be interesting. Ryle, Ryle Cliven, Cl Cl Cliven, 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 whatever. You know, we know, we know, Ryan. Thank you so much for the super chat. Doting a little more just because I love that you're doing this. A friend of a friend got trapped in her car on the highway and pa Oh my God, that is so sad. That, I've heard so many stories of similar things like that happening because it happened so quickly. It was like instant. Like people didn't even like have a chance. The amount of animals that are, uh, I don't even want to think about it because it literally, it just makes me so upset that such devastation happens like that. It's, uh, it fucking, it gets to me. Tiffany H, thank you so much for the super chat. Thinking of Greg Woodcox, who barely survived with his life during the Paradise Fire. Bless him and those who have lost their lives, such as his friends. Um, I'm not, I'm, who is that? Let me look that up. <laughs> That's awful. I don't know shit. Apparently I'm like the worst human being ever. Greg Woodcox. I know about the woman that was like trying. Oh, oh, okay. I've seen this video. That shit is dark as fuck. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. I remember that now. Um, there was a woman that I did watch who was, like, speeding through the highways to get to her horses to, like, let them out so that they could run away. And she saved, like, 30-something horses, which is, like, amazing. Um, M Salad, thank you so much for the super chat. Love you, Petty King. Love you too, bitch. Love that you have such a giving heart. Thank you so much. Zachary Michael. Hey, Zachary Michael. Um... I uh, can't super chat for good on my phone, apparently, so I'll do it when I get home, baby. Gonna watch from the train for now. Well, I hope you have a safe ride home, and when you can, um, donate. Please donate. And if you, if I'm not on, you don't have to do it through YouTube either. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just write the link out right now. California Fire Foundation. I'll just go ahead and put it in here right now. I'll link it a couple times. So if anyone asks in the future, I'll be able to link it in here. Oh, is KDW in here? Oh my God, KDW. I am so ecstatic that I was in one of your videos. You have no idea. I literally ran around the house like a complete absolute idiot, screamed my fucking head off. I was like, I've made it. It's official. Like, I was so, you have no idea. I was, I lolled so hard. Your edits are so good. They're only actually, in my opinion, they're only getting better. So like, I just can't wait to see where you go with this. And you pump out content like no other bitch. Like you are dedicated and I fucking love it. I love it. Hey girl comics. Hey, thank you for showing up girl. Love you. Love you boo. Love you and egg guy. Um, Jay London. My mom is in my mom's in Santa Clarita and every year the fires have gotten worse. They've gotten so bad. I have a couple of cousins that live near Oceanside and they've been evacuated every year. It seems like, um, it's only getting worse and like, we're not doing anything to fix it. Like we refuse to agree that climate change is a thing. So it's like, I don't, I mean, I guess we agree. I think the majority of the world agrees that climate change is a thing. It's just the people who are in power don't really care. So, I mean, it just, it sucks. Like, it fucking sucks, and it sucks that there's nothing being done about it. Because, I don't know. Especially for a state like California, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be like, oh, we're, we're better than or whatever, but California has, like, such a big economy, and we, we provide so much to the United States by ourselves that we rank higher than most countries. 
So like, it just sucks that like, when things like this happen, we're just expected to like, somehow have all the answers. And I don't know, it just bothers me. Kayla E, uh, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Love it. Um, imagine, uh, broke ass college student in Michigan, but I can't imagine losing everything so quickly like that. Love you, Michael. People lost everything. Like people literally lost everything they had. All their memories, all their clothes, all their everything that they've ever had in their life is gone pretty much and it's that these houses that were like especially the, the in that town paradise people built those houses themselves like that was like it, it was their own little community and it just sucks so much that like that like literally like that it's just gone it's everything's gone i i honestly don't know i'd have a nervous breakdown i'd end up in a mental ward for sure like I'm such a, a sensitive individual already that like if something that crazy happened to me, like literally when my gas can, when my when my um when my gas can got van my gas can my gas tank got vandalized, I literally cried for like five minutes before I even like started before I could get into the mode to like actually start doing something about it. Um, Bailey N, thank you so much for the super chat, five dollars. This is from both TJ Sky N and myself. My best friends live. My best friends live there, and luckily she's safe. Thank God, God willing. I'm so happy that she is okay. Um, I had a friend that was there too, and a, a, and our group was like, "Have we heard from her? Like, we're like, is she okay?" And then she finally came, and we we're like, "Thank God." Um, oh my God, Carol Kip Cepeda Cepeda. I know I'm probably butchering that. Thank you so much. $50 donation. Love you so much. You're the best. Thank you're the best. Honestly, you're the fucking best for doing this. Um, Jay London, California would be the seventh largest economy in the world on its own. So yeah, it's, it's stuff like that. So maybe that says something about the liberal laws and people in power in California. Maybe it's the downside of liberalism. There's such, there's so much wealth. There should be ample assistance. I mean, there is, and we like, we'll, we'll fix it, but it's like, why shouldn't we like get some kind of aid from the federal government instead of everything being instead of some asshole tweeting instead i'm not even gonna do it i'm not gonna, instead of some asshole literally tweeting the people who are trying to save lives and blaming them for it like how about we do something else how about we like actually provide something you know instead of like being so anti us just because like we don't agree with you like it's so annoying does YouTube take 40% of their donations like Super Chats does, or does 100% go to the aid victims? By the way, my son's girlfriend has 20 family who lives in paradise. All is gone out. I'm so, that's so sad, California. I'm re it's from my understanding that because it is for charity, YouTube doesn't take a cut from it. They may take like a processing fee, but I, I don't think that they take like the normal cut that they once did. Shivy, hey girl. Hey, Shivy, hey. Um, Ali H, thank you so much for the super chat. So glad you're doing this. Love watching you. I'm so glad that you love watching me. And I'm so glad that you're donating money to the California Fire Foundation because they need every bit. Um, I know that a group, I know. How are you blaming liberals for fire? I don't, I don't know, bitch. I just read the comment out loud like an idiot. Like that was what was said. I agree. <laughs> um, fuzzy little man peach. $5 donation. Thank you so much. You're amazing for doing this, Michael. California is my home. California has been my home my whole life, too. Like, I love it here. Thank you so much. Uh, Queen, Quen Chess? I think, I, mean, I think it's Queen Chess, but Quen Chess. Um, $10 donation. Thank you so much. I think, I hope things work out for the victims. Me too. I really hope that they get these fires under control, like, super fast. And I do know that some people in Malibu have already started going back home. So, I mean, thank God for that. But, dude, literal, like, the thing that was, I was watching this, like, the, the news feeds. And the thing that tripped me out the most was that homes on the beach were burning down. Like, that is crazy. That it, like, the fact that the fire was so intense that it was literally burning houses down on the beach, like, that's so nuts. Dude, you know how you know, intense a wildfire has to be to do that? To like literally burn across sand? Like, it's so crazy. Emma Blue 22 thank you so much for the $20 donation. You're my favorite YouTuber, thanks for being petty. Well, you're one of my faves too, bitch. You're one of my faves too. <laughs> oh my God, Shayna ate. Shayna Anaya S, Shayna Anaya S, 
fifty dollar donation. Thank you so much. Just saw my credit limit got raised. Kisses, a bitch, living that credit life. I love it. Getting the credit scores up, ho. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, it does say under this. I read somewhere. I know I I read that, but I didn't want to like say that for sure. But um, Christy Kirst, I can't even say your name. K Jarstai ninety three says it says under super chat that one hundred percent goes to the charity. So, and I think actually I can look up real quick like how much we've made already. I'm not sure how. I can figure it out though. View ongoing tally. I drank too much. So far, literally, we've only been I've only been streaming for 20 minutes, and we've raised $185. So, a round of applause for the Petty Pals. I mean, that's pretty big. Um. California root root dollars twenty dollars. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Love you. Let boo. I don't know if you're a girl or boy. Girl, bo girl, boy, boo. Non gender conform. Whatever you are, bitch. Love you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Love you. Hearts. <clears throat> so I mean, I'm already. I am already ec ecstatic about the amount that we've raised. Like that's so much money in twenty minutes. Like. I did see that Miss Fucking Wonderful had weight loss surgery, and I wish her the best, honestly. It's going to be a tough road, and I hope that she's, like, willing and ready to, like, um, go for, like, to go forward and, like, go, go over those hurdles. But it's, I think she'll be, I think it'll only be better for her. Like, I think it'll make her better, actually. Shivy Pop Girl... Girl, I fucking love you so much, girl. I wish we lived closer because literally Shivy Pop and I would probably like hang out every day and be like the most annoying people in the bar. Like just fucking like the most annoying loud people probably. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm like drinking water really fast. And so it's like... <clears throat> Jay Linden, I'm going to donate when I'm home. The fact that I can't do this on iOS kind of pisses me off. I, girl, YouTube, YouTube needs to figure your life out. So you know, YouTube does some things right. It seems like YouTube does like one thing right and then like five things wrong. Like they take one step forward and take four steps back. So, uh, girl, Shivy and I would be so fucking annoying. We would be literally everyone would hate us because all we would do is sit in the background, giggle, hoot and holler, and just be the most extra ass people ever. Hi, bitch. Finally caught you in action. You got me, bitch. Someone, it, someone, uh, Instagram DM me. A, like, I guess they were hanging out like somewhere in Kentucky, and someone had a license plate that said "Be Petty" on the back, and they like found you. And I was like, oh, God, I hate it when they, I hate it when you guys catch me out there. <laughs> the air and the air out here in the Bay Area is so bad. Yeah, that's another thing that I've been reading about. Um, that. The air quality is just garbo. It's absolute garbo right now. Thankfully, it's not that bad here. I think we have a warning in place, but it's not super bad. Not like I go outside that much anyways right now, but um, it's pretty bad. East Ender, oh my God, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, head hearts. For all the live streams I missed, thank you. The, the uh, people affected by the uh, wildfires are gonna greatly appreciate that donation. Thank you so much, East Ender. Oh my God, what if that's my, Becky's license plate? She's like a low key stan. Like she's like low key standing me. That'd be hilarious. Like Amber would ever allow that to happen on her car. Cause she lets it be known that that's her car. Okay, she bought it. I mean, and I, she did buy it, but like at the same token bitch, like you, the person who takes care of that car is Becky. Like you can't even drive. You don't even have a driver. I, I honestly, I mean, it takes a, it, it takes a special kind of bitch to own a car that that can't drive it. Like it takes it. I don't know. Like that's a little weird for me. Like and I, and I, obviously there are people who like own cars who are like disabled and like they like their caretakers or their family members like driving around it. But like she has no excuse. Like she honestly has no excuse. The only reason she has that it's the binge mobile. It is literally the binge mobile. That is all it is.
Are you going to react to something? Yeah, I'm going to react to fucking Eric's entitled asshole. God, that shit was... People were sending me, like, grabs of it and everything of what he was saying. And I'm just, like, I'm literally out of fucking loss. Like, I'm out of fucking loss that, like, someone like that exists in this world. But should I be that surprised? No. Because he lives where he lives with who he lives with. So... It's funny to see the change from our car to my car. Yeah, that's how it always goes. That's how it always. That's how it slowly goes. It's our car when it's convenient for um, Amberlynn. But when, but when she needs to flex, you know what's funny is the way she flexes is so weird to me. Like her flex is so weird. Like it's like, oh yeah, I can afford torrid hauls, and it's like, bitch, you can't wear any of it. So I don't know. Like who cares? Like. It makes sense. Honestly, I wouldn't be buying clothes when I weigh 550 pounds like that because there's I wouldn't be doing that. The binge mobile is Chantel's car. There's no way she's getting rid of it. I I that chick is like going nowhere fast. She's going like nowhere fast. I don't know what that I don't know what she's trying to do. It doesn't make any sense to me. Pancakes, ten dollar donation. Thank you so much for the super chat. Pancakes wanted to donate for the families and firefighters. Love you, Michael. I got my boyfriend to watch you. Hey, it's so funny. Uh, survive, sleeve, slay. Her boyfriend watches me too. There's so many. Like I, I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why I think this way. I think it's like a complex that a lot of gay men have. Is like you think that like a lot of straight men would find your personality annoying just because in the past they have like, um, but. It's interesting, like, how many, like, of you guys out there get your, like, menses to, like, watch me. Like, yeah. I like it. It's funny. <laughs> They're probably like, why are you watching this, like, a gay black dude talk shit about a fat girl? Like, okay. But whatever. He's kind of funny, I guess. Not gonna lie. I ordered a rotisserie chicken sandwich today. <laughs> you would, Chevy. You fucking would. You fucking would. Um, her buying clothes is her committing to that weight. I agree. It's not, honestly, it's not only that. It's the amount of clothes she gets. Like, I can understand her being like, bitch, I need a couple more clothes. I need a couple more whatever's is. Um, Big Al recently said California is one of her favorite states. She probably, she's probably here. So ALR, do donate to California challenge. <laughs> right? Doubt it. How, how I mean, I don't want to knock someone's charity or whatever, but like, how much like she claims to be incredibly charitable but do we really believe that like do we really believe that like she's out here um really donating like that like i don't i don't know because i feel like if she did she'd flex on us all the time about shit like that like she'd constantly be talking about her doing this or her showing like i remember when she like literally got like a protein bar for that homeless person and like we had to hear about it for like two weeks or when she was going to send that one guy on Instagram the gift card that he never got. So then, like, people that I knew had to get it together. And we ended up doubling her, her whatever she sent. We've upgraded a Hydro Flask. We have upgraded. I am in love with this Hydro Flask. I love the color. See, Hydro Flask. Love the color. Um, it's 40 ounces. So I make sure to drink two of these a day. That gives me 80 ounces of water. And I drink my protein shake. And that's 12 ounces. So I get 92 ounces that I yeah 92 I was like is that correct math for a second and then I realized that it was correct math because you know why I'm smart um it is so that's 92 ounces of water which is more than my daily allotment of, of fluids that I need to get every day I also got this nice rubber silicone pad thing so when I put it on things it doesn't fucking move so yeah I fucking love it I love the straw top hydro flask Sponsor a big boy. Sponsor your petty king out here. Because uh, we out here doing it. We out here doing the damn thing. So. Okay, there's been a bunch of donations that have come in that I haven't read. Okay. Um, authentic Hogwash. Love the name, by the way. Thank you all for all you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the $10. I honestly don't really do that much. <laughs> like... Like, in, on the scale of, like, lazy YouTubers, like, there's Amber Lynn, who's, like, one of the laziest. And then there's, like, me. Like, I try a little bit. 
Like I don't sit here and film like five videos at one time about nothing. Um, Jamie Reynolds, thank you so much for the super chat. Love you, Jamie. You've been a ride or die from the jump. Love you. Oh my God, Shake. $100 donation. <sighs> Girl, also, can I just say, I can only see like the teensiest, insiest bit of your profile picture. You look snatched as fuck. Like you look hot as fuck. Like I'm just gonna put that out there. I I'll, I'll, and let me. And when I say that your your little picture is tiny, it's like that big. But I can tell from that size that you're a badass bitch. Um, it says AmeriCorps alumni here, shouting out to any AmeriCorps crews as well as the other volunteers helping with the disaster. Hundred dollar donation. Thank you so much, Shake. Thank you, Boo. Oh my God, I was gonna do this. Head hearts. Head hearts. Finger hearts. I'm gonna shoot the hearts to you. I'm shooting them. I'm literally a K-pop idol. I'm shooting the hearts to you. Oh my, sad and, did they say sad and constipated? Me, literally, that's me like three days a week, sad and constipated. So I, totally relatable. I completely understand where you're coming from on that. Um, $50 donation, thank you so much. Hearts, sending, shooting hearts your way. Shooting them your way, loving them your way, sending them your way, feeling them your way. I truly feel awful for all the people going through this, but especially for the disabled elderly and the animals who don't have as much means to escape or receive help. Yeah, I, I read it. I watched a video on my local news station last night of, of a, a retirement home out there. And the brilliant way that they evacuated them is they went through each room and then they literally did like, you know how FEMA does where they do the marks on the door to make sure that everyone was out and they did like a bajillion head counts and everyone got out that is always scary to me i remember reading stories of like people in florida during like heat like blackouts or whatever like of like elderly people dying like because like the staff like wasn't caring for them um jay gadnett i probably said it wrong 221 thank you so much for the super chart super chart super chat um sending you hearts sending you all these hearts sending you this love California wildfire um, organization is going to love it. Um, Bella James. Love you so much. I love you, Bella. Also, I love your avatar. That's cute as fuck. Is that like a, it looks like a Barbie. It might be a Barbie. It might not be a Barbie. I'm assuming it's a Barbie. So we're just going to go with that. But thank you so much for the super chat. It's queen supporting queens. We love a queen that supports other queens. <laughs> Yes, yay mixed race jeans. I know, right? <laughs> we are the fucking future, bitch. The fucking future. Uh, uh. Um, I heart guinea pigs 20, 2000. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I can't say I love the name. I'm not a big fan of gerbils. I don't like, I, I don't know what it is. Okay, so growing up, like I had a friend that had a chinchilla and it scared the shit out of me. I don't know what it is about little things that tiny. I feel like their brain is either like fuck shit up or eat shit up mode. And so like, I remember when they were out of town, I had to go and um, feed it. And I was deathly afraid of putting my hand in the cage with it. Like I was fully convinced that it was gonna literally just like eat my entire hand to the bone like a piranha. Like I, I, it was the most terrifying experience I've ever had. I am such a coward when it comes. Gerbil, I don't know what it is, gerbils? Gerbils and birds. I really don't fuck with birds either. Like I've had a couple people that have had parrots and they're like, here, hold him. Like, I'm good. Like he, he can kill me if he wants to. He's a descendant of a dinosaur. Like. I'm good. Like, I don't need to be, like, raptorized in my brain. Like, it's okay. Like, I don't fuck with chickens either. I've, I have a couple friends that own chickens. Don't fuck with chickens on any level either. So, yeah. Like, I don't I don't like them. They, I don't know why. It's because they have tiny brains. And so I'm convinced that they only have two parts of their brain that work at any given moment. Fuck shit up or eat shit up. That's all it is. And I don't care what anyone says. I know, I know, okay? I'm not a vet, but I don't care if you're a vet. I don't care, okay? I don't like them, they scare me, and I'm allowed to like not like things, okay? So, fight me. Um, Ryan Lang Longoria. Ooh, it's kind of like Ava Longoria, I love that. Are you related to Ava Longoria? Um, if you didn't know this, I'm a huge Desperate Housewives fan. I love Gabby. Gabby, Carlos was so fine. I had the biggest crush on Carlos, especially when he was blind. Um, also had a, br a really big crush on, um, on, uh, Rex. I don't know why I had a really big crush on Rex. Um, <laughs> maybe it's cause he was like kinky and I'm like into kinky shit sometimes. Um, it's terrible to see people go through these things. Keep up the good work, King. Thoughts and prayers. Greetings from Ohio. Hey, from Ohio. Hey girl. Hey. Hey from, 
Okay, I was gonna say something, but I don't want to get it wrong because I know how touchy people can be about like their um, their colleges, especially their college football. But let me Google real quick where. Okay, so you're a Buckeye. Go Buckeyes. Yeah, like go Buckeyes. Like I'm totally into sports ball. Totally about it. Um, but yeah, go Buckeyes. <laughs> I needed to Google that real quick. I was like, is it Ohio or Iowa? Like, I don't want to look like an idiot on this stream. Any more so than I already look. Um, Clara Winter. Girl, you are you look bomb as fucking your thing too, bitch. You got the tatuas out. Like, $10 donation. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, thanks so much. Um, I'm terrified of frogs. Frogs don't really... I'm not that afraid of frogs. Do frogs have teeth? Is that a really dumb question? Like, I know they have long tongues, but I've assumed that frogs are just, like, things that have, like, long tongues and, like, gums. And they just, like, mash things to death. Like, they don't even, like, chew things up. Frogs? If Okay, I'm, I was going to say something that was really fucked up, so I'm just not going to say it. Uh, Marissa Michaels, $50, 50 donation. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sending hearts, shooting them. I'm shooting them at you. Like, they're literally 3D hearts. 3D finger hearts. Head hearts. I love my fellow Californians. Hello from Irvine. Irvine. Oh, my my cousin goes to Irvine. Uh, she goes to I... Is it I... No. It's Irvine. UCI. I literally had to think... I was like, CIU? Like, no. Isn't that like Colorado Institute? Like, that's not even a real school. She goes to UCI. She's like and loves it there. She loves it. She's like, she's like the only white girl amongst like a sea of Asians. So she's like, she fucking... She always stands out. So she like loves it there. Frogs are the worst. No, see, frogs don't have worse. Oh, Willow's here. Hey, Willow, my my fucking my husband's here. I'm just, I shouldn't say that. I'm gonna get Jamie. And, I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, I shouldn't be like sexualizing Willow. Okay, like that's ridiculous. Um, they don't have real teeth, so they have fake teeth. They have like. Dentures. I don't see. I, I was gonna say that like I would imagine that frogs like, if a human could have like a mouth as a frog like. You'd be really good at blowjobs. But I feel like that's really inappropriate on a lot of levels. But I said it anyway, because you know why? We're do we're doing a stream for for fucking charity right now. We're talking about how frogs would theoretically be good at giving blowjobs, apparently. Apparently that's a thing we're doing now. Um Sierra Pache Pacheco. I think it's Pacheco. Sending love from Denver. Love you, Petty King. I love you. I love you for donating to the California Fire Foundation. Um, thank you so much. Monica B. Oh, my God. Another $50 donation. 3D hearts. 3D hearts. They're literally coming at you. They're coming through the screen at you right now. That, that probably looks so stupid, but whatever. It's what we're doing now. We're going to do head hearts. Thank you so much for the $50 donation. There was another donation. I think I missed it. I think I missed it. Monica Henricks. Oh, there it is. Love you, Michael. Thank you so much for the super chat. Super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thank you. I thank you. Willow's voice is soothing. Willow, you know how there's like sex operators out there? I feel like Willow could be like a male sex operator if that was like a thing. Or he could be like an MC at like a, a male re review, like a male strip club review. Like, I feel like his voice would be perfect for that because it's, like, just the right amount of, like, bass and, like, you know? <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if Willow, like, realized that when he started, like, doing his YouTube channel that he would be, like, sexually harassed on a daily basis. <laughs> like, I wonder if he, like, thought about, like, hmm, you know, I'm gonna start YouTube and then, like, I'm gonna start being, like, sexually harassed on a daily basis on YouTube, like... <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure he like likes it. <laughs> the teeth are on the top jaw and the roof of the mouth. That sounds terrifying. Oh, City Dwellers here. I watch City Dwellers videos. His videos are good too. Marissa Michaels. Willow's voice makes my clit tingle. Same. Oh, uh, Willow's. Hey, guys, here. Hey, hey, guy. Hope you're finally, like, having a little break from work. ASMR queen. 
I know. Some of y'all say that like you like my voice. I hate the sound of my voice. Okay, like I literally hate it. Speaking of which, you know whose voice I really hate? And so I'm just gonna put this disclaimer out there already because people have been asking me to do like a response to the Peter Mon video. I am not editing that man's video into my video. I've listened to it twice. I've taken notes on it. I am not gonna sit there and edit the human foghorn. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't care. I don't care if that makes me mean. I just don't like the, t he's, I feel like he's yelling at me all the time. Like I honestly feel like he's constantly yelling in his videos. And it's at a level and a decibel and a tonality and a timbre that I don't like. So I'm not doing it, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna respond to it. I'm gonna talk about what he talks about, but I'm not gonna like do a like a, a, a call and response or whatever, because I can't do it. I can't physically sit here and parcel out the clips while listening to it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Jessica Jolag, 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 Jolag. Love to Callie from Detroit. Thank you so much for the super chat. The ones that I'm getting on Streamlabs or whatever, I'm just gonna like push them to California Fire. I think I can, I, I feel like I remember reading that they have a PayPal. So I'm just gonna like push them straight to them. <clears throat> Lower your decibels or leave. <laughs> Willow's voice is my favorite too. I think everyone on some level hates the sound of their own voice. Like, I feel like I sound like my mom. So like, I hate that. I remember growing up, like whenever I'd answer the phone and I'd be like, hello. And they'd be like, oh my God, girl, like, could you believe like we, like today was da 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 da. And like she, the principal did da 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 da. And like, and I'm like, oh wait, you want to talk to my mom? They're like, oh. Sorry, Michael, like, uh, yeah, let me speak. And I'm like, oh my God, really? I'm like a 16 year old, six foot four black man. And I sound exactly like my white mom. Like, great, that's awesome. I mean, Cliff Notes version, to me, it felt like Peter Mon was just trying to do anything he can to revive his channel in any way, shape or form. And so he thought that if he was like Captain save -Ho to Amber Lynn, that like that would turn the tides or something. But in my opinion, it just made him look really lazy because like he didn't take any time. He claims that he watches her and he's friends with her, but he took no time to really research anything about her and then just co-signed all of her bullshit. So can you sing, Michael? Fuck no, I can't sing. I can't sing at all. Zach's response about Peter Mon was pretty. Yeah, he was. Zach is way more. Zach is way better about like being articulate and like more precise and more um, understanding of like where people are coming from and their viewpoints. And like he, I don't wanna say he corrects them, but he um, he analyzes them and then like responds at a better level. And I think that honestly has a lot to do with his like education. Like I think that that has a lot to do with that. Um, I'm a little bit more crass and crude. So I know that like, when I make that video, I'm gonna say something that'll get me in the hot water. But girl, ain't no one that pressed about it. Like, it's not even that fucking serious. So, I, I've said way worse shit on this channel. I mean, I've said way worse shit. So. Anything for a buck, Mon's hubby seems totally interested in, and interested in him. I mean, I don't even want to go into the dynamics of their relationship, really. Like, it is what it is. But to me, he seems just as messy as his man. So, you know, I remember him coming for Petty Page, and Petty Page was like, bitch, you thought. Like, you honestly thought you are going to come for me on any type of level. And not today, ho. And not today. Like, I love Petty Page. I live. For, I don't even know if she knows that I exist or whatever, but I fucking live for her. I live for her wigs. I live for her makeup. I live for her humor. I live for her accent. Um, I live for her like under. She's like married to a white man, and she's like been talking lately about how she's concerned about like what her children are gonna have to like kind of um, deal with because like being mixed in itself is its own like comes with its own set of like privileges and challenges like and i've wanted to make a video about that but i know people are like because i know from my personal life that when i've talked about this i everyone gets mad like I, and you're stuck in a place where no one gets it because like you you piss off each side and i've wanted to kind of talk about it and like hopefully maybe she would see it 
I think her children are going to be lucky in a sense that um, we're like, even for me, right? Like I was born in 1989. Like I had to deal with some stuff, but nowhere near like what maybe like, like what people in the six, like, like mixed children in the sixties had to deal with her, you know, like, so, but I've had to deal with my own things and it's, and I've wanted to make a video kind of talking about like what it's like to grow up mixed race and like also what it's like to grow up mixed race when one of your parents is it in the picture and like that side of the family isn't in your picture in in your life so um i've wanted to like kind of talk about that but i'm not sure how to do it without pissing a lot of people off because i have a lot of opinions about it that are going to piss off both sides so i don't know it's and it's and it's also like a lot of people are like they they're like oh you don't act black i'm like well what does acting black mean but like also I don't have a connection with that side of my family and my connection with that with like that side of me didn't come until later in life so because other than that i grew up around all white people like or or uh, hispanic people like there's mainly hispanic people here so um it's it is its own like mixed bag right and i've wanted to talk about that but i'm not sure like how to go about it because it is something that like directly does it does affect me like and it, it's something that like it is a i don't want to say a trigger but it is something that like does to this day still bother me on a level and i've gotten a way past a lot of the shit in regards to that but there is a lot about it that is still confusing and i think it's going to be one of those things that i'm just going to have to like constantly try to wrap my head around until the day i die because race relations and 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 the such are an ever-evolving thing so, I don't know. It's interesting, like, because where I grew up, I grew up in in Southern California. I grew up in a mainly, like, Hispanic area. Like, there's a lot of white people, and then the next biggest demographic, or actually, I think the biggest demographic now is Hispanic people, and then it's a lot of white people, and then there's, like, maybe a couple of black people, and then there's a couple of Asian people. Um, it's funny because, like, white people knew off the back that I was black. But, like, Hispanic people always assume that I'm, like, Hispanic. And so growing up, when I would go over to friends' houses that were also, that were Hispanic, they're, they're like, their abuela, they're, they're abuelas or their grandmothers or the moms, depending on, like, what generation um, immigrant they are, like, if they're first generation, whatever, they would instantly think that I'm Hispanic and instantly start speaking Spanish to me. And I'm like, uh, like, I don't, I don't understand, like, um, but the thing that I've also realized is that with Hispanic cultures or like Latin, or, um, Latin culture, they really don't give a fuck. Like they honestly don't care. Like who, they, you come into the house, like you're instantly being served, like whatever food that's being cooked. Like, are you staying for dinner? You don't have a choice. You're staying for dinner. Um, they don't give any kind of fuck. They just like, they love you. They love you for, and that was honestly, I think that that was like a huge blessing growing up and like, and battling that, that dichotomy of like where do i fit in and who am i and how does this work i'm so glad that um that i grew up where i grew up because like the hispanic people they don't give a fuck like they just love you for you and so like i think that that like really helped shape my feelings of feeling at home like okay and feeling like at home and i don't i'm so glad that i didn't grow up somewhere like in like I mean, I'm not trying to hate on it, but I've heard from friends and stuff that like, if you grew up in the South, it was a little bit harder. So someone donated something and I like talked straight through it. Love to Callie from Detroit from Jessica. Oh, I think I read that one. Des Daisy Rodriguez, sorry I'm broke, LOL, but hope this helps. Love what you do and work it, girl. Thank you so much, Daisy. Thank you so much, Daisy Rodriguez. So yeah, that was my little spill. I'm gonna do, um, I'll do like a whole video about it, but I just need to like really, TJ Skyen, I can tell you're mixed, but it's weird when it's obvious, but nobody will say you're mixed. They choose one race to label, which is what I don't appreciate. You can't appreciate your identity. I mean, I can kind of touch on that a little bit. When you are mixed, it feels as though you're forced to pick a position. And like, obviously I can't just go around saying I'm white because no one's going to believe me. <laughs> um, so it's, so when I like, when I, when people ask me like, what is your ethnicity? I say, I'm black. And then, and then I'm like, but I am mixed. 
because when you say like people i don't know it's like they want you to they want you have to fill a box they want you to fill in a box it's easier for them if you fill in a box so you know like when i take the when i do the census or when i apply for schools and stuff like that like i mark that i'm black there's no i mean i think they're getting better about that like i i remember filling something out maybe at the dmv or something recently and there was an option for mixed which was nice um but it's just in it's just a weird thing i've i've had a lot of other people who are mixed that have come to me and been like i totally get what you're saying and i think it's one of those experiences that unless you live you can't really understand what it's like so yeah i would show you i did an ancestry report because i wanted to know and i'm actually like 40 percent african like sub-saharan african or whatever and then like 60 percent white so I'm not even like half black, even though my dad is like fully black, he's fully African-American. Um, but I, that's not how genetics work apparently. So yeah, I just put down Pacific Islander law. <laughs> I wish those Pacific Islander men are so hot. Bit off topic, but yeah. Oh, Zachary Michael. Thank you so much for the super chat. He said, live your truth, boo. It's your identity and your lived experience. And you don't know anybody's shit. I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. Love you, Zach. Hearts. Hearts your way. Hearts. 3D hearts. And I think most, I think honestly, most people care. Like, that's how most people feel about shit like that. Like, it's like, who cares? It's like their experience. Like, let them, if they want to share their story, like, let them share their story. For my son, I always marked other. Yeah, I did that too a lot growing up, but it feels awful like being an other. Like who wants to be an other, right? Like that doesn't feel good for anyone. <clears throat> My dad's half native, so I guess that makes me one fourth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I, I don't know. I don't know. I've said something about Native Americans in the past and I was dead ass wrong. So I'm not gonna say anything anymore. I don't know that culture enough to like really speak on it. Jay Lennon says, I went to Valencia High School and it was super racist and people just hung out in their own groups. But as a mixed person, it's so true. It's hard to explain it to people. Like I'm Filipino and Swedish. That's a really cool mix. That's such a cool Filipino and Swedish. That's super dope. I always felt less as a Pacific Islander. People always made me feel like men from my part of the world were ugly. Well, that's stupid. There's a lot of really hot Filipino. There's a, there's a fine ass Filipino man out there. I think, no, he's Thai. I was going to say Bam Bam from Got7 is Filipino, but he's Thai. That girl from Momoland is Filipino. I think her name's Nancy. She's Filipino. She's fucking gorgeous. I'm going to look that up real quick. Nancy Momoland. Oh, she's not. I'm wrong. There's someone from Momoland that's Filipino. I'm pretty sure. I'm probably dead ass wrong and I look stupid right now trying to figure this out. Maybe it was, there was something I read about someone from Momoland being Filipino. Oh well. Oh, well, I was wrong. I tried to be smart and it was wrong. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you going to react? Yes, I'm going to react. I want to look up the donation tally real quick and see where we're at. Oh my. Okay. This is fucking crazy right now. Like this is fucking nuts. Um, oh my God. R R R Rena Siren donated a hundred dollars. Fucking love what you're doing. Love from Finland. Thank you so much. Holy shit. See, and that's the thing. This, that's not even including the like what the Streamlabs donations. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hearts, doing these hearts. I want to go to Finland really bad. Um, we've don't we've so far we have had thirty three donations and we've raised six hundred and sixty five dollars to the California Fire Foundation. That's so crazy. That's so much food. So much water. So much everything. Blasians, my best friend growing up was a Blasian. She was half Thai, half black. 
gorgeous. Literally the prettiest skin. Her skin was like honey. Like it was the it was the color of just like bronze, yummy honey goodness. And her eyes were these big, giant almond shape. Like so gorgeous. Like perfect, tiny little nose. Like I don't even. Her hair was gorgeous. Her natural textured hair was like so, so beautiful. So beautiful. I loved her. She was like, her and I, were, we were so annoying together. We were like so dumb. We literally thought we were on the set of Mean Girls. On Wednesdays, we wore pink. Like we were the dumbest people that ever existed. And I look back on it and cringe, but it was also some of like most fond memories. My nanny was like native with dark skin, but I'm ginger with pale ass translucent skin. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna talk about that too growing up. Like when you don't look like your parent, I only had one parent growing up. People think you're fucking adopted. Like I remember when I was like six years old coming to school and like one of my classmates came up to me and was like, are you adopted? And I was like, no, like what the fuck? Like, and they were like, my mom says you're adopted. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like. Obviously, I wasn't saying what the fuck in my head, but like as a six year old, I was like, why? Like, why are they saying that I'm adopted? That's weird. Like, I don't know. I didn't get it. I didn't, because when I looked at my mom and I looked at me, I saw my mom and I thought that I was like my mom's, you know, like I never knew any difference. And I remember like coming home and thinking, like, I remember asking her about it. She's like, who said that? And I was like, what Christy said, it, blah, blah, you know, like, and she's like, well, you, that's stupid. Like, her mom's dumb. <laughs> My best friend from college is half Trinidadian and half Korean, and she is crazy. That's a gorgeous combo, too. There are some uh, Korean black people out there. They are so good looking. So good looking. Friend of mine is half in. I love how all these people are coming out of the world and be like, I, I know people that are half this or I'm half this. I love it. Like, it makes me feel like I'm not alone or whatever. It, it, it honestly reminds me of, I don't know if you guys remember this, but on Time Magazine, maybe like seven, eight years, this was a long time ago. They had a picture of a girl and they said that this is what the future was going to look like. And she was like this beautiful, like here, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. This is a picture. She's like so pretty. This is what she looks like. Um, can I make this bigger? Probably can't because I'm bad at computers. So this is bigger. Um, but look at the color of her eyes. Like it reminds me of like the amber in fucking... Um, Jurassic Park, like with the mosquitoes stuck in or whatever. But like, look at her, she's so pretty. The freckles, the like, the color of her skin, her hair, like, the, and they were saying like, this is what Americans will look like by 2050 or whatever. Obviously I don't think that's true, but it is what it is. Um, Dill Pickle, love that name. In memory of my dad who was a career fireman, God bless the people fighting the fires. Thank you for your dad's service. Firefighters have, like, one of the most, like, selfless jobs in the world. Like, they literally are never around their family. Like, they work super fucking hard. I don't know how they fucking do it. So. Should we get into a reaction? I mean, shit, we've been streaming for an hour, and I haven't even gotten into a reaction. I want to react to... Eric being a complete and total tool. <laughs> That's the goal. That's not the goal, but that's what I want to react to. That's what I had my mindset on. So that's what I'm going to do. But she's nervous, in case you were wondering. He's nervous, okay? He's soups nervous. He's soups nervous. Hello, people. So I just got on having breakfast and I'm sitting here with Rebecca. <laughs> and. <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
You said she's a super What is girl. that on her what's head? Your name? I'm belt girl. <laughs> They're belts? So wait, what's your superpower? It looks like a, like one of those things that you put on a horse's neck or head to like lead them around. Um, that's classified. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about it yet. Right. That's her with her. It won't stay up. Even if, did you I mean, I couldn't imagine being so fucking bored with my life that I'm just going to literally sit around a kitchen table and put belts around my head. Like, we don't got anything better to do right now. Like, as I sit here while I sit here and, like, talk on live stream or whatever. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like, this is such a daily occurrence in their lives that... They literally, she's like building herself her own muzzle. Like, is that, is, oh, you know what it might be? It might be a prototype to the muzzle that they're going to make for the binge monster. Maybe that's what that is. See, that's using your noggin. That's the prototype to the muzzle that they're going to be using for the binge monster. I think that's what it is. And I'm not trying to be, like, rude or offensive or anything, but, like, I could totally see them, like, plotting while the binge monster sleeps. Because we know it's, like, it looks like, I'm going to look at the light, like, let's look at the window. I'm judging that it's, like, 1, 2 p.m. there right now. So we all know Amber's sleeping right now. We all know she's sleeping right now. Quailman, Chivy, don't you dare. Don't you dare disgrace Quailman like that, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tighten it in the back? It doesn't have another notch. Oh. My head's too small for it. I've heard that before. My neck is too small for it, too, believe it or not. My neck. Bitch, you ain't got no neck. <laughs> too stupid. I have a very you got a, if you got a neck, then I got a vagina. That's all I gotta say. Short neck. <laughs> it's genetics, people. <laughs> Hello. It's genetics. So I don't think it's genetics that like you're that over, um, right, but okay. Sorry, Ricky was talking to me. Made me lose my thought. So we just got home from Walmart. We had. I mean, okay. Like I get that I'm really mean, <laughs> and I'm not expecting Eric to like watch this video and be like, "Wow, he's so nice. He has like, he totally gets where I'm coming from. He's, you know, I don't expect that, but like." If there's one piece of advice that I have for Eric, just one piece. And I understand that he has textured hair. And, like, I think that if he took care of his hair, it would look a lot better. Because if I had hair that long, it would look like that, too. Like, when, I, when my hair gets really long, it, it grows out in ringlets. I look stupid as fuck with it, though. As a giant man, I look like a... a a fucking a pineapple so I don't do it right with the shape of my head I look like a literal pineapple I think it's time to throw that unit in the trash and start from scratch I honestly think it's time to just throw that entire unit burn it do a seance you know what burn the things in your life that have that have harmed you you know like if we can literally like fucking just like do a little seance and just like get rid of, and start fresh start honestly i think eric would look pretty okay if he trimmed his beard down and shaved his head i think he would look pretty good actually you know but this isn't it like this is like if this is if if we're going to be like determining what it is this isn't it like this is not it this is the opposite of it like if it is here he's here like we're we're on the complete opposite side of it so like we need to like figure out how we can get to it instead of being away from it and like this isn't it so i think that he should just shave it off you know what maybe ricky you know maybe ricky might be like ooh, like this and we could just like do a little bit like a little like rope like who's this who is this mystery man in the bedroom that like doesn't have a brillo pad on his head like this is interesting this is new like tear the bussy up like we can just like you know, like brand new it. Like that's how I feel about that. To pick up some stuff for dinner. Ricky's wanting to make um, chicken pesto. Creamy chicken pesto. pesto. Whatever. <laughs> Creamy chicken pesto pasta. I love it. But, you know what? Ricky kind of reminds me of like Woody from Toy Story. I don't know what why that is. Like he just reminds me of like a go like he's goofy. He's like cowboy. -y. He's like just jovial all the time. 
Like, you know, like, I feel as... I, he is the Woody of Toy Story to me. So, like, who would everyone else be then? Like, let's decide who everyone else would be from Toy Story. Hmm. I feel like Eric would be, like, the penguin that loses its squeaker. Right? Like, I feel like he would be the penguin that loses its squeaker toy. Um, Becky would be... Hmm. Who would Becky be? I want to feel like Becky would be like Mrs. Potato Head, but she's not that annoying. She'd be like Mr. Potato Head. Like, has no backbone. Like, lit like they're definitely Mrs. Potato Mr. Potato Head. Um, Amber is like... I don't want to even go there. I'm not going to say who Amber is because it's, it's rude as fuck. Someone else said it. Someone else said it. I don't even have to say it. Everyone has already agreed, and that's how I feel about it. Jay London, that's how I feel about it. I'm not saying it out loud. Y'all say it out loud. I think I think she'd be a mix of that and, like, Miss Potato Head. So, yeah. Oh, my God, the prospector. Dude, absolutely the prospector. Google all the characters. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. It's creamy chicken pesto. Oh, pasta. I'm not doing I'm this. I'm joking with you. You said it <laughs> But so uh, we were at Walmart. You know, I mean, poor Ricky, right? Like, he has to, like, work all day, come home and cook, and then, like, also clean and then do the yard work. Like, when does Ricky get a break? Like, that's what I want to know. And I seen that they already had eggnog out, and I was like, oh, they have eggnog. And then I asked Ricky, I I'm not a big fan of eggnog. He said he had not. I will say this, though. I got fucked up on some eggnog. Like, five or six Christmas ago. Like, I got so fucked up. So, yeah, I've had eggnog before. And you like it? It's okay to me, but supposedly like you're supposed really to drink with alcohol, cream. which I've never done. I just drink for myself. You may not like it now that I'm thinking about it, so. Yeah, well, but it won't got how hot he put into it. Did um, he even speak he English right there? Like, I don't even hear, was that English? I'm thinking about it, so. Yeah, well, but it won't got how hot he put into it. That wasn't even English. That was not even English. Like, what was said? I'm so confused. One more time. One more time for the people in the in the poor seats. Yeah, well, but it won't got how hard he put into it. That wasn't even English. I don't know what that was. I don't know if he had a mini stroke, but that wasn't English. Um, I guess your preference. I don't know. <laughs> so you guys are getting his first initial reaction to eggnog. <laughs> Do you like it? It tastes like a really sweet coffee cream room. I, guess I don't fuck with eggnog. I mean, it's too. okay, but it's like, it's too sweet. Shake it up real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Shake it up. It's it's not bad, but it's Kentucky English. He like summoned a demon. I agree. It sounded like he summoned a demon real quick. It's not something that I go crazy about because obviously you've never really seen me even drink it or talk oh, well, about it. Well, you're not talking about eggnog. You go like it. I'm like. Who the hell is that? I've had it before. I've liked it, but it's not something like, oh, wait, no, no, I gotta get it. So, how do you feel about it overall? General, con consensus. General consensus is that that's like real thick. Oh, it like coffee authentic cream. hogwash has, has um, translated for us. He said, depends on what you put into it. I didn't hear any of that. Literally heard, like, I didn't even hear that. I didn't hear any of that. I'm so glad that you are here to translate for us in this time of need. I honestly think there is a market out there for you. That is a special skill you have. You should work for the FBI, honest to God, because I, I, I could have sat here and listened to that for an hour straight and would have never been able to parse that out. I would have never been able to parse that out. <laughs> My hand to God. I'm not even being... A dramatic like it literally sounded like gibberish it sounded like straight up gibberish it didn't even sound like a foreign language i had never heard before like it was straight up i had never heard it before i think the fbi needs to hire you because you're doing like that's crazy that's fucking crazy you i don't know how you did that it's not bad but like, it's not like oh my god it's something that i could like go probably go the rest of my life without trying again yeah okay Oh, show them. The I agree, thing. Eric. It's eggnog is eh. It's whatever. But Chubbs did. Hang on. So <laughs> I don't know if you guys he's have so, ever seen he's that like line so he's where so it hard. says um, she hasn't been the <laughs> same ever since she's got that five dollar kazoo. <laughs> I can't do it. It's not good. 
It's supposed to be uh, to Sandstorm. Uh, sandstorm. <laughs> it's hard, I know, I try. So Chubbs ripped that out of the duck and all. Soap donated $6.42. That is a very specific amount. <laughs> like, and I'm here for that. Like, I love that it's $6.42. Like, that's hilarious to me. Um, love you. Keep being you, queen. Thank you so much, Soap. I enjoy that. Thank you so much. I'm not saying eggnog is disgusting. I'm just saying it's whatever. Like, it's not like the, it's okay. You know, like, it's not my cup of tea. I mean, I'm not mad at Eric Ricky's shirt. Like, I'm here for Ricky's shirt. I mean, I wouldn't hate, like, if you want to wear that on a girl, I'm literally wearing a Black Panther shirt. Like, I'm wearing a Black Panther shirt. Like, I, who am I to, like, sit here and judge them for their shirt right now? I think Amber has horrible taste in clothes. Like, I'll say that. I don't care what anyone says. I think all of those four 20-foot length, they're, it's literally just, like, swaths of fabric, like, in weird shapes. That's all it is. I don't care. Fight me. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I honestly don't think that Amber owns anything that is cute. And I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just trying to be real, okay? <laughs> all the stuffing all over the place, and Ricky picked it up and found it, and we've been playing. <laughs> Did you guys know Jeff Hirsch is a firefighter? Well, Jeff Hirsch is a firefighter, guys. Willow has let us know that Jeff Hirsch is a white. Is Jeff Hirsch the, like, Jewish pumpkin guy that I... He's the one that did the Jewish pumpkin video. I feel like I read, like, I, I saw, like, a Jewish, like, a guy doing a Jewish pumpkin video. I was like, what the fuck is this? But you know what? Maybe I just, maybe the joke wasn't for me. You know, that could be very well it. But, um, he's cute. He's a cute, he's a cute Jewish man. I would love a Jewish husband, to be real. I would love a Jewish husband. I'd convert. I have no problem. I was in love, uh, Harry, in on uh, Sex in the City, Harry could fucking get it. Honest to God, of the men's on that show, Harry was easily top three for me. Like, easily top three. And it's not because he was, like, ob he, obviously he wasn't the sexiest guy on that show, but, like, he was super fucking dedicated to his family. He fucking loved Charlotte to death. And I honestly think that Harry had a big dick. Harry gave me big dick energy so much like i don't know what it was any man that was willing to just like walk around super naked all the time like that has to have a big dick has to have a giant dick that is all i have to say about that actually i could go on and on about that we want to know who my top three like <laughs> let's just like stop watching the video and talk about sex in the city real quick oh uh, i don't subscribe to the whole like i'm a carry or da 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 da, da because I find them all equally to be problematic problematic in their own special way. Like if I don't really care for the, that whole thing. Like I hate if a girl if especially if a girl comes up to me and is like, I'm totally a Charlotte, like, bitch, go kill yourself. Like you're so stupid. Um with that being said, my top three on um my top three fine finest actors. Okay. So number three was Harry. Number two is Aiden. And then number one, okay. I don't know his name. I don't know the. I don't know his character name right now. Let me look it up real quick. I'm so I'm so ready for the stream, guys. I have it all figured out. His real name is Mario Cantone or whatever. I don't know what it is about that guy, but I've like I've had a crush on him for a long time. I think it's the sound of his voice or whatever. But when he was on Sex and the City, I mean, he's older now, but when he was on Sex and the City, he was really good looking. And he had this one scene where he's like in the um, park with Charlotte and they're like watching men uh, run by them. And he looks at them and he goes, he goes, um, he says, he says, ooh, he's like, that's like two scoops of butter pecan ice cream or whatever. And I like died. Like I was like, that is the perfect explanation. Anthony, his name is Anthony. That is the perfect explanation for like a man, like that man's bubble butt, like two scoops of butter pecan ice cream. Like, yes, absolutely. Uh, he's, I'll show you guys, hold on. He's, he's a, I'll show you. Let's find Michael he's a blind a, Jewish man. Boy. I'm down. And he's got it dug out again, and he's like taking more shit out of it. See, yeah, like, you can we, see the stuffing on the ground. Yeah, where he's been ripping it out. We uh, we buy him these gooses. Alexander J, like, thank you so much. He for knows what this is. Do you want a goose? Like he knows this is his goose. <laughs> he literally tears these things up. Let me see that. Show him dog toys right now. 
And like he takes it out. We get and like it. He had He's the, the bag dog. ripped he chews open. Shit up. Got it. My dog chews shit up. He all starts the time. off with the legs. Yeah. The, the yeah. older ones that used to he used to have were like fuzzy material, not like hair material. He would eat it. I like an ass <laughs> like a Georgia peach. That's a good Don't one get me too. Wrong. I, like I love that. my son more than anything in the world, other than my daughter and my. Husband. You know who was but, saying that? Like you, I think Jay Lennon, you were saying that like people were, got on you or you felt ugly because or someone said like Pacific Islander men are ugly. That is not true. Philip, Pacific Islander men have some of the nicest butts ever. I mean, I may be like generalizing right now, but like I've yet to see like a Filipino dude with not a nice ass, like straight up. I think most Asian men in general have really nice butts. They're tight and round and firm and like just real good. Kristen R420, I like that specific, A girl, A, I miss being, I miss being able to smoke pot. I probably should not have said that on stream. <laughs> Probably never gonna become a nurse now. Whatever. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks, girl. A girl. A. True facts. I only speak facts. My gosh. <laughs> this dog with toys. <laughs> he gets crazy over, like, he gets crazy over things with squeakers. But like, for Zachary Michael, boyfriend has a good booty. He just wants everyone to know that. Okay. I. I've not seen it, but I probably, I would probably agree with Zachary Michael. I'd probably agree. Like, I could go full dick pig on this stream right now, but I'm trying really hard not to. Like, I'm really, tr <laughs> like, I'm really trying to, like, not go just, like, complete dick pig and just, like, start talking about, like, all of the key shit I'm into. But, like, it's getting a little, it's, like, it's bubbling to the surface a little bit. As some of you know, like, I had a tab of, like, one of my, like, gay porns on here or whatever, apparently. And, like, someone was trying to, like, embarrass me about that. And I was like, yeah, shocker, a 29-year-old gay man watches gay porn. <laughs> Newsflash, like, oh, no, what are we going to do? Like, whatever. Some Ricky's the house like elf. He juice. is their house elf. Ricky is totally Dobby. He Ricky is Dobby of that house. Like, and maybe I just need to go to Kentucky and present him with clothes. Oh my God. I can literally just go there and like present him with like a sock <laughs> and just like keep it going. Oriented like toy. He, he goes did. completely like psychotic. Like he, yeah. Zach like is another lucky duck. Robin dog emerges from him. He goes he crazy. Goes, Zach, he says he gets lucky psychotic. Duck. So he must but, be telling the truth. Um, whenever Ricky starts actually cooking dinner later, I'll show you guys like him cooking. Was that what I'm doing now? Oh, I didn't know the three. I'm hungry, girl. I didn't know that's what you're doing now. Call I mean, he's break. cooking the food. Like, let him eat when he wants to eat, Eric. Okay? Like, goddamn. As a queer woman, woman, I love booty. As a queer man, I love tits. Like, I will gladly say that. Um, I have no problem saying that. I think boobs are gorgeous. I just don't find them, like, sexually... They are not sexually stimulating to me on, like, any level. But, like, I love boobs. Like, a good pair of boobs are, like, a good pair of shoes. Like they're amazing and they like keep you there they keep you warm they like they keep you warm <laughs> like because boobs keep i don't know maybe boobs do keep you warm maybe there's like a scientific study out there that boobs keep you warm but like a good pair of boobs are like are good to come you know like i love them i've touched a boob i've touched a boob <laughs> i've touched one pair of... i had one friend that let me touch her boobs and they were amazing and they felt amazing they just didn't do anything for me down there I fucking love boobs. Let's keep going. Brenda, <laughs> so that's all I have to say about that. It's Barbara. No, you're being a Brenda right now. <laughs> so um, I'll show you guys like the updates here and there, and like you know him cooking, and give you guys like, uh, like the recipe so, and stuff like, like that as he's cooking it, and it then hurts me. Uh, I'll show you guys like, like I the feel like it end hurts. result once it's done. So like, I'll see you guys in a bit. Like, how do you wash that? All right, you guys, because you're fun. A uh, little update here. We, uh, we've got penne pasta bowling. What was that? That was like him trying to do an Italian chicken. accent. Chicken. Recipe didn't that really call for it, but, you know, cooking is uh, basically your flavor. We've got uh, tomatoes, uh, portobello mushrooms, chicken. That looks bomb. Eric is the, or Ricky is the we, only one that can cook in that house. Like, we've seen Eric cook, like, hamburger helper, and that's about it. But it, it seems like Ricky's the only one that has, like, the brain power to actually follow a recipe. Newsflash, cooking isn't that hard. It's, like, not that difficult. Like, all you literally have to do is just, like, follow a recipe. And if you're really that bad at it, then just, like, get HelloFresh. Like, that's what I did for 
like a good three or four months and that like taught me how to cook and then all you have to do is cancel it and then um or you don't cancel it you just you just um you just skip every week and you still get all the recipes which is like the best part <laughs> so yeah i wanted to obviously because chicken is flavor so it soaks up any flavor you want so it's basically your personal preference so I'm gonna let this render down a little bit more, let it get a little more flavored, and uh... Is Michael fire for Ricky? Okay. No. Keep you guys All right, you guys, it says add one fourth cup I honestly of, don't think uh, Ricky can cream. handle all this jelly, like, to be and, real. And uh, one fourth cup of Parmesan, I did. Also, two and tops don't make a bottle. Tell, she's and I think Ricky is the top, I think he's, like, strictly the top. Nice little shower. Keep y'all posted. All right, you guys, I just drained my pasta. And that looks I just decent. Added that, I would eat I that. Like, I would eat that. And the life of a free spirit. Hey, life of a free spirit. Love you, girl. Love you. A girl, A. Presto change, yo. We have dinner. That looks hand. good. Also I, like, low-key want to eat that right now. Oh, she looks good. I'm about to dig in and eat. Do you think the reason that they cook early and stuff? So oh, no, dinner it's is done. So this is going to be the final result of There's what so many it looks like. Um, of let me taste it earlier. Whenever he was like, I don't know what point you were. Whenever you it was just uh, the mushrooms in the cream. Oh okay. Like I don't know how far along he was because he brought it in there to me. I was in there talking with Becky, and this is what it looks like. But when I tasted it earlier, just the mushroom that he let uh, me taste. Stacey oh Hawkins my god! Says, it I follow the recipe, but it's never quite right. Some people don't have the knack. It's honestly, it's all practice. It's literally all practice. Amanda Madriaga, Michael, are you at top or bottom? I mean, I don't know. Like, that's like a, I don't know. It depends on like how I feel really. <laughs> like if I'm like feeling myself a little bit, like I'm, I'll bottom, but usually like not that often. It's like not my favorite thing to do. When I was bigger, I never bottomed. But, like, now that I've lost some weight, it's, like, it's easier because I don't have as huge. I still have a giant ass, but it's nowhere near as bad. And I can, like, I'm a little more flexible. Now. I mean, we're getting way too, it, okay, versatile. That was the answer to that question. I didn't need to go any further than that. Done. Superb. So, this is what it looks like, though. Finished. That looks really good. Oh, we know. We've right? seen it, like, five times already. We know it looks good. Look at the steam coming off that whenever you opened it. It's hot. <laughs> it's like a clam. <laughs> a steamy garlic clam. <laughs> hey guys, so right now, me and Becky are at my appointment. It looks like he has a burnt hamburger patty on his head. Does that not look like a burnt hamburger patty? That looks like a burnt hamburger patty to me. That looks like a burnt hamburger patty. That looks like those Costco really thin hamburger patties that you get and then you put them on the barbecue and like you just drink a little too much of like your sangria and then like the next thing you knew they just end up as like charcoal briquettes like they're literally like you could throw them at the wall and they just like burst into dust. That's what that hair looks like. For um, oh about my gallbladder. Uh, it was originally Friday but then they called me and he got called into like uh, some what was it they told me? Uh emergency surgery or whatever crap or something mm -hmm. like that yeah whatever crap called into emergency, emergency surgery is like whatever crap apparently saving lives whatever crap see surgery so he wasn't even gonna be there which right. it kind of like really irked me because they called me like what 30 minutes right before my appointment or something. do you so know what an emergency is you fucking moron do you think that they have it planned ahead that they're like oh wait let's wait until people get here and then tell them that like the the then have the emergency like that'll go over real well like at least they gave you a heads up before you got there like are you kidding me like i can't i fucking can't like you're so stupid you're so annoying you're so ungrateful you're so entitled like, do you not understand how this shit works? It's an emergency. Like, it's an emergency. And all you had done was an endoscopy. Like, it's not even that fucking serious, bitch. Like, it's not even that fucking serious. Something and like that. Like, yeah, it's canceled. Yeah, and they're like, okay, yeah, it's canceled. And I was like, well, luckily, you know, I, we hadn't even left. Or what, 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 would your day have been ruined? Like, because you had so much other shit to do that day. Like, you had so many other coloring books that you could have gotten to. 
Like, who cares? But you ain't got shit going on. You have nothing else literally to do all day. So who cares if you had to make a, a, a tr an inconvenient trip to the doctor's office? Like, who fucking cares? I don't even understand, like, why it's even an issue. Like, why are you even... Let's look at the... I want to look at the comments real quick. Oh, it just, I disliked it already. <laughs> I automatically, like, disliked these things already. Yeah, he's annoying. I agree. Everyone's saying he's annoying. Like, we are getting ready to, like, in 10 more minutes, we would have walked out the door to leave. So, luckily, they caught me, like, right before we left, because if I was on the road and I almost started there, I'd have been a little peeved. Jennifer, but, Jennifer says, you know who really didn't like the emergency surgery? The person getting the damn surgery. A fucking men. The person getting wheeled in for emergency surgery was probably not, ha was probably in pretty inconvenienced that day and for the next couple of weeks. Like, I can't. Like, I can't. Does the only reason this person have, does the only reason he have health insurance because he's married to Ricky and Ricky works full time? So, like, is he on, like, because there's no way he's on Obamacare. I don't know. That hair is so bad. Throw it away. Throw it in the trash. I bind you, Ricky. <laughs> I'm going to start doing a craft spell. I bind you, Ricky, from doing harm to others and from doing harm to yourself and harm to other. I bind you, Ricky. Like, literally, we need to, like, bind him from, like, the, the pain and suffering that he is doing to his scalp. Like, it is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. I bind you, Eric. <laughs> doing pain to yourself and pain to others like i can't like i literally can't with this shit anymore it literally looks like a it looks fake like at first it looked like a burnt hamburger patty now it looks like a straight up toupee like we should just throw it away start from scratch um so i didn't get my results friday so that's why I'm i like haven't hugging gave you guys my an update and talked to you guys right about now. it and told you my results just because i haven't even gotten them myself so i'm about to head in here and get my uh for my appointment and get my results to see how well my gallbladder is functioning if it's doing it any at all or if it's just doing it a little bit or what and i don't know when they're what gonna is be the hair my like what is this it's like literally morphing before us it's a digimon it's literally a digimon i'm pretty sure it's a digimon it's a digimon it's a digital monster <laughs> it's literally evolving in front of us like i don't know how, how does hair work that way i've never seen hair like that before I've never seen hair like that before. You know, he's really into Pokemon, so maybe he just decided, maybe he's growing the world's first Pokemon on his head. Results for my, um, about my eight, if I have And honestly, to be real, like, getting your gallbladder results aren't that urgent. Like, it's not that fucking serious. Like, if you have a gallbladder that's, like, not that, just go on the gallbladder diet. Here, Here's a fucking thought. If your gallbladder's bothering you, don't eat Taco Bell. Like, how about that one? Don't eat super fatty foods. Eating that creamy penne vodka, like, as good as that looked, you shouldn't be eating that because there's probably tons of fat in that. You should be eating, like, chicken and, like, veggies. Like, that's how you make it so your gallbladder doesn't go off. By Lori. Because I know last time I was here, they took you my You don't have blood, H. by Lori, bitch. You'd be in more pain. So I don't know if they're testing me for something here also. Something else that they didn't tell me or maybe they did. I don't know. It's all running together, all these appointments. Or if, like, I have to wait for the call from the hospital where they did the... Dude, why do we care? Like, why do we need a step-by-step -step into, like, how incompetent you are about, like, how to get your test results back? Like, it's not even that fucking surgery. Like, surgery. It's not even that fucking serious. Like, just fucking chill the fuck out, dude. Like, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. Like, if it was... If honestly, if they got your test results back and it was an emergency, y'all ass would have been in the hospital already because they would have called you and been like, you need to come to the hospital right now. Like, it's not that fucking serious. Like, that's how it works, bitch. Like, it, usually that shit goes like if there's an urgency behind it, then they expedite it. So that way that they can, like, save people's lives. Obviously, your life isn't in danger. You're not in danger, girl. Like, so just, like, chill the fuck out have a fucking like piece of bread i don't know like just chill out biopsy and took that piece of my skin um or my yeah my skin for my esophagus and they're testing that for h pylori so i don't know what the blood was for i don't know i'm really confused the test for your but h pylori can... you idiot they can test your for h pylori in your blood because it's a literal bacteria so it would show up in your blood culture 
Uh, I hate him. I fucking hate him. Start getting I literally all hate him. I hate him so much. You guys updates and know what's going on with me, so you guys are not like, "Hey, Eric, what's going on?" You no one is. No one. No anything. one is saying that. So I'm no trying to keep you guys updated that. in the loop and let you guys. No know No one needs going a day on. by so day I'm go here updating. My We're like ten minutes early. Hopefully, they'll get me in here early and we can get out of here. So, you know, we can do other things, <laughs> but. I'll see you guys after my appointment and give you guys an update. It's amazing how someone can talk so much Good and say morning, so people. little at the same time. So like, right that's now, a literal uh, talent. Me and Becky are getting ready to head out. We have to pay water. Um, so. What is his hair doing? What is happening? It's turning into the Kate Gosselin. It's literally turning into the Kate Gosselin. Pay some bills. But. Um, Does someone cut his hair? Does Is there an actual barber out here that is doing this to him? Because if so, they need their license yanked. Because like, that is ridiculous. What is that? What is happening right now? That is so bad. It's so bad. That's but a crime. That's a crime against humanity. Like, the fact that he is subjecting other... the people of Kentucky to that haircut every day is disgusting to me. I'm honestly offended. I'm honestly offended, and legislation needs to be passed right now. Right now, call your local representatives <laughs> and put a stop to this. This is ridiculous things and got preoccupied I wasn't able to but um so I went to the doctors they gave me I'm gonna sit down <laughs> they gave me my results and um I tested negative for uh H. pylori shocker so <laughs> shock not yay let's all rejoice and celebrate you should that. be happy because you're such but a hypochondriac they did tell me that I d I well is he gonna start crying right better. now he has cancer. Well, let me explain it in depth. If he um, has cancer, I'm going to feel like the biggest the piece of shit. They results from it. They said that my gallbladder was um, emptying at um, a percentage of like 15%, which they said the normal functioning or normal like functioning gallbladder should be anywhere from 35 to I think 60. It said that was normal. 35 to 60 was normal. For someone who was like so preoccupied on this result, it it's honestly astounding that you can't remember it. Like, it for so, for someone who made such a big deal over the fact that your doctor had to go and do emergency surgery and you weren't gonna get like you sure as hell like half listened to whatever the fuck the the nurse told you your results were. Like you couldn't even be bothered to write it down to get it right when you're talking telling your your subscribers. Like so obviously you weren't even that concerned. Like I'm confused. So, and mine's only functioning at 15%. So, he told me that like I your have brain. the option... Your brain's only to, functioning at 15%. Um, like, leave it. I guess well, everyone's well, brain okay. only functions at a really low rate. That was really he stupid. He said, um, like, it can happen... Like, basically, I have a diseased gallbladder, and he said it can go bad, like, where I'll have to immediately get it taken out, like, with them, like, cutting, you know, surgery and stuff like right, that. Right, because you know, the only way they can remove body parts from you is to actually cut you. We're not at that stage of the game yet where we can literally, like, teleport things out of your body at a whim. Like, yeah, you got to cut someone open to do surgery. That's how it works. It's how surgery works. It's called incisions. It's called knives. It's called scapulas. It's called all of those things. Like, so that's how surgery works. That's like I mean, 101. That's rudimentary um, shit. If it gets to that point, he's like, that can happen tomorrow. That can happen 10 years from now, he said. He's like, I, I can't pinpoint when that's exactly going to get to that point where it'll be bad enough where it will have to come out. He's like, but it's up to you. It's totally your choice. I can't make you. He's like, if you don't want to get it out, he's like, you don't have to right now. He's like, but whenever it does get to that point, you will have to get it taken out. So it's amazing how he literally said like, the same thing five times. Like he's literally said the same thing five times in the course of a minute. Like, I don't understand it. It's up to you. It's your choice. You, you can leave it in for now or wait till that point. I want he's someone like, to like cut said, Eric prison's 10 oh years from now. So, I mean, you don't, you'll never know. I thought, I thought when I first so, read it, I thought it said, I want someone to cut Eric's hair like they do in prison. And I was like, I bet the barber in prison is way better than anything going on right now. I was sitting there just contemplating and going over really my options. City dweller. Do I leave it in? Uh, do I get taken nice out? Nice is not on brand for me. I really don't know. I don't know what to do. This is like a... I mean, he told, like, I guess he was telling me like I can leave and like make my decision like later on. I don't have to do it right there in that moment. But I don't know. I mean, like sometimes whenever I felt overwhelmed or like pressured, I'm like... I feel like I need to make a decision right then and there, and I'm like, this is like a lot to decide right now. Do I decide to get my? Are we gonna get like out? the gallbladder box now? Is this what we're God. ramping up for, like a seven-part gallbladder series about like 
Eric, oh my God, could you imagine how annoying Eric would be in the hospital? Loki think Ricky is like, oh my God, I hope he has to get his gallbladder out so I don't have to deal with his ass for like three days. Like, he's so insufferably miserable. Like, he is so just dull. He's so dull. Like, I, why are the picture frames messed up in the background? Like, you're literally home all day and you can't align your picture frames. I just saw that and literally got so irate. Who is hanging shit up in this house? I mean, is I I can't. I literally cannot. I know blind people can hang things up straighter than he can. Like that's ridiculous. Easy. <laughs> do I decide to get it taken out, or do I just wait to see how long it can last until I have to get it taken out? So I just made the decision. While it's not to that point where it's like really bad, it's like completely just zero functioning and it feels like I mean, false. God forbid you like tried to do like, maybe you should get some Ursodyl or change your diet up or something. But no, let's just get surgery. Fuck it, let's just get surgery. Because I hear that's very painful and I don't really want to experience that or go through it. Becky knows she's gone through it. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> it was rough. Becky had her gallbladder out mm -hmm. and still eats the way she does. About that it. toilet, dude. <laughs> That toilet must God, be so like, fucked. I got so freaking sick that I was like vomiting. Oh, that's when you were getting those specks on your face, right? Yeah. Because like, it was so little... bad that it was breaking like yeah, blood like vessels you... in my face. Yeah, you had like little, like, um, she had like, would get like spots like under her Ew. eyes where she was vomiting so hard. I remember that, yeah. yeah. And uh, they're like, uh, at the hospital, they're like, oh, we didn't see anything. You're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. And I Becky looks like that vampire from fucking Blade. <laughs> that one vampire that's like sitting in front of the TV that has like no neck. She looks like a, she's a thumb thumb. She's a literal thumb thumb. And my sister was furious. She's she from Spy like, Kids. Does she look fine? <laughs> if they do a Spy Kids reboot, they don't need to do CGI for the thumb thumbs. They could just hire Becky. She was like, does she look fine to you? <laughs> like, my sister's got video of it and everything. Like, she gave them doc yeah. that doctor hell that night. Well, it's, be so. it's because he, like, you know, kept trying to act as if nothing was wrong with me. I was there for the tour doll. That doesn't Ooh. do much. What <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I'm totally Is here. Is tour doll a painkiller? I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know. For drugs, I'm going to be faking this kind of pain. Girl... In Kentucky, I'm sure there's a giant opioid epidemic because that's where that shit's getting hit the most. So I would imagine that, like, that doctor's probably not wrong that there's a lot of people that come in there looking for drugs for nothing. But, um... <laughs> no scope these cups says, why did YouTube recommend me this? I don't know, bitch. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Doctors come but welcome. Like, that's your profession <laughs> is to be caring and... Help people. Yeah, my dad was gonna come up there. Like, <laughs> he was he had and do what? Get early. arrested? Yeah. Like he was heading up there. It was like six o'clock in the morning, and then you know. I um, hate when people like go to medical professionals and then think that like being a uber dick is gonna get you anywhere. Like, also let's not piss off the person that's gonna do surgery on you. Like that's probably not the best move. I kind of didn't want that to happen, you know, because I didn't want my dad to get in trouble. Or anything. Oh, I'm out of water. <laughs> so thankfully that doctor was off. That sucks. He, he got off work before my dad showed up. <laughs> but um, I just made myself another appointment with some doctors down here. And they, like, did the ultrasound and they saw. Is that the water you know, jug that Amber got at um, when she lived with Destiny? That has to be. A lot. Yeah, so like, it was like sense. completely like filled up with gold. Becky's like yeah. Mikey from Reese. And then they told you it was How like, dare you like, do Mikey like that? Yeah, yeah, I went and had my, hi my hiatal. Hi I know. See, I have a hard time pronouncing it too. Hiatal skin? That's how hiatal I skin? I don't know. And I had to lay there for a full hour. You're supposed to do it for two hours. But after that first hour, she's like, it's pointless to do another hour. It's been zero functioning this entire time. It's got to come out. Dang. Yeah, so yeah, they took it out and see, I know that hurt they're not supposed to, but I wish the woman would have done that for me, though. What would have just told me right then and there, like she did with tech? Me. Usually, what happens is when technicians are doing x rays on you, they're not supposed to give you the results because it's not their job, it's not in their job description to like read and analyze uh x rays and reports like that. That's the radiologist's job, so it would be like out of it, would not be. They could probably get in trouble if they were just, like, telling people what they saw and shit like that. Like, they're not supposed to do that. They're not trained for that. So, get over it, Eric. You had to wait an extra day to find out if your gold bladder was sick. You. So, I wasn't spending those days because 
you have to think, I left my appointment, and then I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to go back Friday to get my results, and then they rescheduled on me, like I told you guys, he had an emergency surgery, so then I had to sit around and keep wondering, do I have something else, like, gastritis? You poor baby, um, like you poor child, how, how dare age. they do this to you, Eric? How dare they? How dare they make you wait around? If it was in, if it was important, if it was an emergency, they would tell you, boy. Like they would. I'm. That, that is not how medicine works. Not how like medical professionals work. If they get results back and it's important and it's an emergency, they'll tell you. Like it's not that serious. Area or is it my gallbladder or the H pylori? Like I'm sitting here wondering, you know, what it is, and I, they're not allowed to give you your results that day, so. Whenever they rescheduled and I had to wait till Tuesday, I'm still sitting around spending my whole weekend wondering. You know what? If you had a job and other things to do with your life, you wouldn't sit around all day wondering. Like, if you had things to actually distract your mind other than coloring and, like, complaining about Ricky's cooking and killing your hair, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, like, you wouldn't be that big of a deal. But because you have jack shit going on in your life, all you have is to sit around and worry, like, and be annoying. What's going on? What's wrong with me? So, and then not a I goddamn finally thing. get there Tuesday and they tell me it's not as bad as you, like zero functioning, but it's only functioning at 15%. And he's still talking about this. So, yeah, he's still talking to about avoid it. what Becky gone through, because I really don't want to experience any of that, mm -hmm. I'm just going to get it done. Um, so, I wanted to tell you guys that I will be getting my gallbladder taken out. Um, I think they said it was going to be uh, the week after Thanksgiving, right? Because God, I'm lo <laughs> I honestly am not here for the gallbladder like vlogs. I don't Monday, care. I don't like care, care to hear this man complain about shit. Everybody's getting those taken out, so there's no opening, so they push me. Get in there, like, <laughs> but, there's a, but they're full. Basically, they're packed for people with that surgery. So um, I think mine is going to be December 3rd of when I'm getting mine taken out. But they said if anyone cancels their appointment. Okay, we get it. You've said this eight fucking times already. I'm done. I'm over it. Your vlog's over. Your channel's stupid. I don't understand why anyone would want to sit here and watch this man explain the same thing 20 times every minute. Like, I would literally lose my fucking mind. Like, I can't. I fucking can't, dude. Can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm done. I'm over it. So stupid. Literally the dumbest shit ever. My God. Ugh. It like never ended. It never ended. Ooh, stretching. Stretching feels good. Let's do a side three, two, two, three, two, fours, two, three, fours. Let's do the other side now. Oh, I need to like crack my back. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I did it. Yeah, body rolls. Watch out for my body rolls. <laughs> he sounds like Ben Stein. I would rather talk to Ben Stein. I'd rather watch a Ben Stein vlog than watch Eric vlog. Like, are you kidding me? At least Ben Stein's smart. How long have you been live? An hour and 43 minutes. Emma Blue 22. Thank you so much for the super chat. Watching Eric is like torture. Seriously, where is the dead horse when we got to beat it some more? For real, dude. He is the literal definition of like beating a dead horse. Like he just pounds shit into the ground. Like it's ridiculous. Reactive Foodie Beauty's meltdowns this week. I am not doing it. I'm absolutely not doing it. If you want to see my reaction to it, like go on Twitter. I tweeted a little bit about it, but I'm not, I'm not giving that bitch any more shine. I don't care anymore. Like honest to God, she's, I don't know. She's crazy. She's fucking crazy. She ate that vegetarian wrap and then like had to go on YouTube and talk about how she was going to the hospital for seven minutes. It's fucking weird. It's so bizarre. I don't understand. I didn't think that it was possible for me to like not understand anyone more than I didn't understand. Um, Amber, but dude, Chantel is an, an enigma. She is fucking weird. She is so weird. don't get it i'll never get it i'll never understand it what does zach say i missed it beat my dead horse Ooh. i 
I just like Chantel with a passion. Yeah. She's toxic. Like she's legitimately a toxic individual. And she doesn't realize that it's not her, everyone else. I forgot to set my phone up. My, I, I picked up my phone because like, oh, let's see who texted me. Because when I was in there, they had to activate my phone because I had to get a new watch with it. Because I, obviously I'm extra like that. Um, and she was like, oh, I'm ordering your watch, but I have to activate your phone first to get the watch. So that way when you get the watch in the mail, it will be connected to your phone. So this phone doesn't even work. I'm literally Amberlynn Reed. <laughs> I'm Amberlynn Reed, guys. I got my vlogging phone and I got my phone phone. I'm literally Amberlynn Reed right now. No, I'm gonna send this one in and, cha and uh, get money back for it if I can. Or sell it to GameStop or something. It makes me so mad that Aunt Chantel got rid of her car to save money, so instead she's losing her. She didn't get rid of her car. From what I understand, she still has her car. From what I understand, she still has her car. Crystal Knuckle Heart, hey, you hit. Two dollars from Jess Jola. Jola, I'm probably saying it wrong. Ale is trolling herself to the grave. 1,000% that. Absolutely. I th I, I kind of feel like maybe she isn't like as active on YouTube as much right now because, well, I think a big chunk of it is that the fact that she doesn't have to put out as much money, put out as much to make as much money, especially because CPMs are getting really high right now. <laughs> like you're gonna make a lot more money on your videos right now. So if she makes like super click bat click baity videos, that's why. And I'm pretty sure that. I forgot where I was going with it because I read, I started reading it now. My brain's like, nope, you're stupid. Oh, and I'm, I just think that she just doesn't, I, I don't think she wants to show that she's like not making that much progress. I mean, we've been here before with her. Did y'all see the cockroach Tammy Slayton video? What? Gross. I mean, I can Google that real quick because I kind of want to know. Cockroach. Why is there a picture of this woman's boob? That is absolutely disgusting. I don't want to click on it. I'm scared. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting involved in the Slayton shit. I'm not doing it. I refuse. What video is it? Is it Tammy Slayton or... Is it Tammy Slayton or is it someone else? Boobs and cockroaches, that's a thing. Absolutely. How dare they tarnish something I love so much. You should do a reaction to a reaction video. Pledge to fill this water up. I know, dude. It sucks too because there's like, there's a ton of ice in it, but like, because it's a hydro flask, the ice is never gonna melt. Ew, that sounded like a wet fart. Did you hear that? Can't do it. I don't think you guys can hear that. It's Tammy's Clean Kitchen. What? Tammy's Clean Kitchen. Wait, no, that's trailer. That's isn't this Chelsea Lynn? She's funny. Is it in her kitchen with Tammy Slayton? Go to Hamburger Lurler, Hamburger Lynn's videos channel. Amy, it's her fudge video. Amy Slayton Fudge. Nothing is popping up. 
and I just picked my nose in front of a thousand hundred people. Oh well. I think I didn't mention Becky snoring because I was so irate at the amount of bullshit that Amber was spewing in that video. Like, it was so ridiculous. Like, that whole heart thing with the doctor. I'm sorry, but if, if a patient calls a doctor and is like, I'm having trouble breathing, no doctor on this planet would be like, well, you probably just need to lose weight. I honestly don't see that. I don't see that ever happening. I have a zit on my eyebrow and it hurts so much. All right, I'll do a hamburger reviews video. But if they have music in it, I can't listen to it. But I put in hamburger reviews and then like two different channels popped up. thing on your head there's no fix in it Ew, is she naked right now that's how i dry my hair look she how much smaller she was <laughs> you better not cry you better not pout i'm telling you why in berlin it's coming to town on my face on my face on my face okay you guys <laughs> hello She's such a doll. I can't. Amy's clean house. Is this it right here? Camera lit. Wait, hold on. Camera lens right bottom corner. Dobby can't have this. Dobby can't have this. Dobby can't have this. I'll give you your treat in a minute. Is that a dog? Dobby in little bit's life. Ice and fire. Like he's wild and crazy and she's tame and so Is the dog calm. eating the cockroach? I saw something move. Oh, and please pray for those who are in, affected in the wildfire up in. I uh, thank you. Here it comes. Oh God, what? It's ew. What the fuck was that? What is it in? Are we just not going to pretend that a cockroach should not just fly like in your? Looks That's like disgusting. LA, but I think it's more in. Uh... I hate cockroaches, especially the ones that fly. Ew! No. I wish I had somebody to a camera person here. Ew, it's in the stove! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like hoarders. It's literally hoarders. So y'all can see what I'm doing. It's literally fucking hoarders. I'm just literally putting it in my pan, y'all. It's in the oven. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Ew, there's bugs everywhere. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I honestly couldn't do it. So I want to show you what I'm cooking. Clean your stovetop. Uh, Please clean your stovetop. I got some cornbread right there. And I got some hamburger helper going. And it's this one. Bold. Because that's what we need. Chicken. Fried okay. chicken hamburger helper. And it's got pasta. As you can see, pasta. So, um, if a rogue is on the food, so help me God, I will literally I'll end the stream right now. I deboned it. I put it in a pan that's water. And I got the noodles. 
Her nail was cute. And in the refrigerator. Hold on. I gotta show you. I got a bowl right here. Ew. Now right here, I got some empty bowls. I gotta put in the washer, dishwasher and a strainer. Got so you don't need a strainer. Washer. And I'm just frying it up. And I'm just and I'm frying it up. 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 Our oven. Ew, that oven is so dirty. Back, that's ours. Um, Clean your bike. fucking oven. Bike. And then we got some kale greens. He made those. I would not just be having like random things of food everywhere when there's roaches literally everywhere. Like I would die. I would not be able to eat at that house. Period. It would just it would be a no for me. It'd be a no for me, dog. I'd Randy Jackson the fuck out of that house. I'd be like, uh-uh, it's a no for me, dog. That's disgusting. I could not. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. I would hate every second of it. I would hate every single second of living in that house. I would be so concerned with like food getting in everything or food getting in everything. Roaches getting into everything. Like I wouldn't just like leave open things. Like that's so disgusting. Knowing that there's roaches everywhere. Someone called a health inspector. I know, right? <clears throat> All right, so we've been on for two hours. So I'm going to do my little sh end of the stream spiel a little bit. Um, in total, on, in total for Super Chat, I, I'm going to have to add up the stuff on PayPal later and I'll tweet it out, the total amount. Um, the total on Super Chat that we, we've we raised or that's going to be donated for, well, I guess we raised because I don't, I think it automatically gets donated to them. Um, for California Fire Foundation is $701.20. This is it right here. I don't know if you guys can read this. Um, so that's fucking crazy. Like that's so fucking crazy. That's so much money. I know that that's gonna help them a lot. I mean, and I think with the other donations that went to Streamlabs, I think that's, I think we topped a thousand. So like, I'm so proud of my petty pals. Like I'm so proud of the petty posse for coming through with this. Like they need all the help that they can get over there right now. If this just gives even them just a couple of meals or whatever, like that's in itself enough. They've lost fucking everything. I don't know how much aid is gonna be needed to like rebuild and all the stuff that they're going to need. So that's crazy. Again, this, um, I looked up this charity on charity, I think it was charity watch or something. So it is a certifiable charity. They do actually say they, their mission statement is accurate to what they actually do. So again, California fire foundation, you can donate directly to them. 100% of all the donations tonight went to them and is going to them. I'm going to make sure that the PayPal's, um, get directed to them too. So again, thank you guys so much. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It, we had a fucking blast. We had another epic stream, I think, tonight. And um, 24 hour stream, girl, yeah, right. That's never gonna happen. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, toodles.